wearing my sweet new SpaceX hat, and that can only mean one thing. It's time to rip some serious VTEC in these two Honda rocket ships. If you guys watched our earlier Type R shootout videos, you'll remember the K-Tune Type R. It is a brand new Civic Type R with, I don't know, a few thousand uh, kilometers on the clock. And uh, you were asking for us to compare it to our track-built Civic, our five-day track-built Civic, K-Swapped on K-Tune's uh, K1 coilovers. It's your basic K-Swapped track prep Civic done on a budget-ish. And figuring how do we make this an even fight because on lap times these cars were very very close this car did a 122.2 and this car did a 122.3 in our most recent test so they're basically identical on lap times so we're like how are we going to even the playing field even more well this was on a stock tire before it was on the continental i think sport contact six tires and we wanted it to be on the same tire as the civic or as close as we could get anyway the civic's on an r triple eight r and we couldn't get those for this, but we could get Nitto NT01s, which are a very similar compound. On grip level, they'll be very comparable. And to mount those Nittos, we needed to go to a non 20 inch wheel size. So we contacted our friends at Koenig Wheels, who sent us these 18 by nine and a half hypergrams in a plus 35 offset. And the, the offset is perfect. It's like flush, not hella flush, it's flush. And they do clear the tires, which I think are a 245 4018. Yeah, 245 4018. The Civic over here, the other Civic is on a 205. Uh, so obviously there's a bit of a contact patch size advantage here, but that's just the nature of the beast. And because the guys at K Tuned are crafty drag racers, they've also modified the downpipe. They built their own downpipe with a straight dump tube on it, so it's bypassing the rest of the exhaust system which means you guys should really hear some serious tech being ripped, even with the turbo on there. I don't know if it's gonna make any more power or not, but I guess we'll find out. We're gonna maybe do some like roll races down the front straight here. It's cold, the track's still kind of wet. We're not gonna be breaking those lap times I just referenced. It's five degrees out. Yeah. Let's just tell these people what we're dealing with here. Yeah, yeah, so we're not gonna get a lot of heat in the tires. We'll be doing some drifting though, and really what we're gonna do instead is do some good like head-to-head -head battles out there. Pete will drive the new Type R, I'll drive the old Civic, we'll swap around, and we'll just see, you know, in a dog dogfight situation, which car is pulling away where, which car is closing up where, and that'll give you guys a good idea of how the two machines compare. And then we'll come back in the summer and we'll do some lap times, and then we'll really see who's faster. Yeah, and we may have some more mods going on to the old EK in the interim, and I'm sure K-Tune will keep developing this car, so in the springtime it might be a whole new battle. Anyway, getting ahead of ourselves, we say we get in here and uh, go do some warm-up laps and uh, see, what, see what we're working with. All right. Well, this is kind of weird, but <laughs> we're working with two GoPros today. Yeah. And that's it. We lost one in a recent uh, most port incident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, quick change of plans. I'm going to drive the new Civic Type R first. Pete's driving the old EK. I'm just going to go warm them up and see what happens. Yeah. Whoa. Ho, ho. Whoa. As I said, this thing is all over the road. <laughs> it's a full drift car. This car is so oh, oh, I was about to say this car feels very stable, but uh, <laughs> it definitely slides too. Oh yeah, she's sliding. You know what though? It's well balanced. Top of my game here, holy smokes! That car is pretty quick in a straight line compared to this one. Oh, Pete's drifting again. <laughs> okay. I wasn't expecting it to drift there. It's uh, it's so loud with this dump too. Tires are warmish. Yeah. They're just starting to yeah. come up the temp. 
The ears too are pretty cold, <laughs> but the rears on this oh, are man. still like stone cold. They are There's what we no Canadians call full hockey puck they style, are hockey right? Pucks right now, which means it's full drift spec out there, which was fun, but... Yeah, I had my moments. I think you had a big moment too there. I was sliding around a fair bit, although not as much as you were. You were like oh, this full thing, skating yeah, It's because the uh, we've got that awesome Eibach rear sway bar on there. Yes. Which is conducive to oversteer <laughs> on a on a warm day, but you're, you're this is kind of ridiculous here. Today to, yeah, for sure. yeah, the video definitely showed that. The power this thing makes now though is insane. Like I'll tell you, the K here feels like it's never felt before. It it's got tons potent. of top end. Yeah. It pulls hard. So the Jeez. weather's a contributor to that. But yeah, so we have these basically have the most unsafe combination in the world. We have more power than we've ever yep. had yep. with less grip than we've ever had. And water spots all over. Water on spots the track. everywhere in yeah. the apex is where you don't yeah, want them. Yeah, so perfect. anyway, enough complaining on our part. What do you say we go out there and try our little uh, roll races on the straightaway? And then like a toge ba battle back yeah. around again. All right, let's see if we can get this going here. I'm gonna pull up. up quite a bit DP that, that was, was some serious action wasn't it <laughs> that was hilarious I know that was really awesome and uh, man 
I kind of want to give it to the old know, uh, eh? K-Civic. I know. Did you see that front straightaway? I thought I was going to walk away from you like you'd be a speck I in the know. distance. I know. And, and what happened? It was neck it and was, neck. It was literally dead even, I almost thought. It, it really like, was. It was. So I, I wasn't getting the best uh, launch because I was doing the countdown. And yeah, yeah. There was a bit of turbo lag in second gear. Yeah, yeah. So like yeah. In, in ideal conditions, I think this, the, the new Type R still be a bit quicker. But oh, yeah. They're way closer than I thought they I were. Know, I know, I really know. So that close. just means, well, you and you think about the track time that we ran in this car mm -hmm. and then this car, so they, they're definitely close. They really I are. I think this thing is not as stable as no, I'm sure it's, no. it's kind of obvious as compared to this car. So, yeah, yeah um, this car is really good in the wet. Like it will come loose and when it does come loose, it's pretty rapid because of the condition. Yeah. But it's way easier to catch than the EK looks Yeah, I had a pretty good tank slapper did in have this a one. Sweet, I was I had trying a good, to be I had a little a too aggressive there. <laughs> <laughs> I had a good laugh while uh, watching so, you catch that. Well, anyways, why don't we uh, swap cars and we'll go do that again and uh, see how it goes. All right. I think the outcome's going to be pretty similar. I think so. actually there pt but you seem to find more power that i couldn't find i just know how to really jam that foot into the, the pedal into the floor with my foot you officially know how to rip tech better yeah, than i do yeah I, I don't know i think it's because i'm doing the countdown on those roll races excuses, and I, excuses excuses right, I, I right right multitask well, you know i i don't know now this car's a little bit faster so who knows but we're gonna say they're both equally matched they i'm impressed matched. i'm impressed with the civic yeah me too but i will say man that type r it feels like a completely different car than this this one's like the mushy rolling around super active car this thing stable hard as a rock in terms of roll there's nothing going on i was really impressed with how well this car handles these types of conditions yeah no it is very stable and yet you can still slide it which is nice because yeah. it tells you it's still got that type r you know ability to rotate and it's making some jam man oh like yeah this thing is. when you put the hammer the down torque. oh it grabs and once oh, it, that yeah. boost builds it pulls hard i mean that downpipe 
Yeah. <laughs> it's just making awesome noises too. So it, it I was uh, thoroughly impressed with it. And I gotta say, the Nitto NT01 tires, they are working pretty well. And so are the uh, R888Rs on they this car. Are, yeah. For this type of temperature, like it is literally five degrees Celsius out here. It is. And I think if we didn't have those wet spots, like there's a couple corners where you go through a puddle and they just plow out. Yep. But otherwise, we could be on it pretty good. So no, you're um, right. kudos to you guys for building a tire that almost uh, lasts or works in the winter time. Yeah, it's almost a winter track <laughs> yeah, tire. Yeah, almost. No, no, we didn't say that. No, that's right. We're, we're, we're not saying that. <laughs> Don't so. quote us on that, boys. I think that's a wrap, DP. I think it is. Well, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And as always, subscribe to our channel. That always helps us create more videos. And springtime, these two will be back for a rematch and it will be epic. Thank <laughs> you.